Your mind is totally controlled. You are stuffed into my mold. And you will do as you are told until the rights to you are sold. Frank Zappa, I'm the slime. That's right, folks, don't touch that duck. Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. You ever feel so overloaded with the news cycle and the 24-hour pounding you get from the media that you just shut down? Well, I have, especially lately. But before I go into why, please make sure that you support my work by liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. A donation would be the ultimate and you will receive a unique gift for your donations of my work. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my posts. Now, back to my point. Yes, I know that's what they want to happen, so that at that point they can lead you around, but I think that taking a break is never a bad thing. It brings back some sense of balance that is necessary to not have nervous breakdowns and go around punching people in the throat when you snap. One of the things that really, really drives me crazy about the media, and I do mean all of the media, is that they've taken to talking about and critiquing each other. In fact, the reason I include all media outlets is because even some of my favorites, minus maybe two or three, are talking about the other media outlets talking about each other. Tucker Carlson is the new Donald Trump. Tucker has taken Trump's place as a right-wing leader, as an outrage generator, as a fire starter, and it's all happening on Fox just like Trump's campaign did. Where are Tucker and Sean Hannity and Laura Ingram? Where is Ainsley Earhart and Steve Ducey and Brian Kilmeade? Where are the biggest stars on Fox getting vaccinated? I get it's a personal choice. I get that's between, you know, the hosts and their healthcare provider. But everybody else is doing it, right? That's actually a heck of an argument there, Stelter. However, I'm with Greg Gutfeld on this one. Okay, Brian, I'll bite. Why haven't we made a vanity display of our vax status? Because it's none of your f business. <laughs> Meanwhile, Stelter also denies the reality of Joe Biden's decline. Breaking news from another channel, it's called the Cable News Network. We told you Chris Cuomo was the only CNN anchor who likes showing off his chiseled physique. We were wrong. On Sunday, the Dwarf King aired footage of himself, oh, his chief minion, rather, wearing no pants. <laughs> the footage shows our little media hall monitor, calves and thighs fully exposed while he appeared for a television report on CNN. Your move, Chris Cuomo! <laughs> Sean Hannity! See what you can do with that! Okay, now you've just traumatized me with Humpty Dumpty, and I'm gonna have that image in my, you know, seared into my memory for the rest of my life. Did you have to, <laughs> did you have to ruin my life? They criticize Nancy Pelosi, screams the eunuch. So Don Lemon really just laid it out there. He, he legitimately, so Chris Cuomo was with him. And when Chris Cuomo is the voice of reason in a room, you know things have gone wildly wrong. So Chuck Todd, who spent years pushing the Russian election collusion conspiracy theory that turned out to be completely bunk. Now he's out there saying that the big problem is that Facebook exists because too many Americans are able to access information that Chuck Todd doesn't like on Facebook. Um. I don't want to, I usually don't, I try not to criticize colleagues. Remember the whole thing with Megan, whatever, but it was part of the news and, you, and people ask. Um, here's, here's how I feel about it. <clears throat> we don't usually like to criticize colleagues, but if you turn on Fox any night, it is the CNN, MSNBC criticism channel. They almost always lead with something that we're doing that, that they hate and they hate because we're, we're actually talking about real news and the Mueller investigation and what's actually going on uh, in the country. Mr. Lemonade Man is pretty ironic here, isn't he? This kind of thing and types of reporting, if you can call it that, 
seems more like gossip and hearsay to me, but it really is maddening for several reasons. First, I don't watch the first set of media that seem to do nothing but talk about each other. So I would have never known about their gossip or comments to begin with. These people just seem to be throwing shade as if they were acting in a soap opera. No wonder they canceled all the daytime shows. Second, I didn't start listening to the alternative media and the indie news critiquers to hear them talk about the main networks talking about each other. If I wanted to hear what the cable news networks were saying, I would have watched them in the first place. And third, this shit is not news. It's not even newsworthy. So why are these outlets all calling themselves news again? You know what I hear when I hear this kind of rhetoric? Especially from supposedly highly educated, trained professional adults. To me, they just sound like toddlers screaming. Mom, he called me a dirty head. Mom, he won't stop touching me. Mom, he won't give me my stuff. And we, the paying audience, not me anymore, but the paying audience are mom. I stopped watching mostly when I started seeing things during and after Katrina that really gave me cause to pause my consumption of cable and satellite TV. Things like this. And then he's in the lower ninth ward. Let's bring him up now. Who's in the water? What is that? It is a person. It's a person there along, along the, uh, along the, along the, along the wall. You see right there, goddammit. To our viewers at home, we have not seen this video yet. It's coming in hot to us. Uh, by way of New Orleans, you're watching it and hearing it for the first time that we are. Yeah, that's, uh, there's that clearly eight person in the water. There might be more than one. We don't know. It uh, looks like they've got a white. There's a person. Off, there's so a person is... stranded. There's a person stranded. There's a person stranded. I'm telling the cops here. Quick, guys. There's a person in the water there. Huh. Right there, a person in the life jacket. You see him? Oh my God, he is. There's a person in the... He's swimming! He's swimming! Oh, he's got a lifeline. He's got a lifeline. He's got a lifeline. Oh my God. Sorry, I couldn't find a better version of this. I actually watched this happening live and knew that guy wasn't drowning or stranded then. Geraldo was just sensationalizing for more eyeballs and for more credibility as if he could do that. And if he was so worried about him drowning, why didn't he jump in after him and try to save him? And of course, my main point about Mr. Rivera, after all his flubs, fuck-ups, and bullshit throughout his career, folks still seem to cling to his every word. And boy, does he use it to his advantage to spread the narrative. I just love the fact that he called Dan Bongino a son of a bitch live on air. But again, it was probably for ratings. I want to see the time. country burn, you son race. of a bitch. I want to see the country burn, you punk. Accurate. You're nothing but a punk. Yeah. You're a punk, yeah. Bongino. You're a yeah, punk. You, you wouldn't oh, tell boy. me that to my face. And don't get me started on how many times he's flip-flopped to try and make himself seem even more like a regular guy. But don't get me distracted. So, as I watch more and more media coverage due to the events that have happened in my life, I'm finding that my decision to stop at least paying to watch all that garbage on cable and satellite was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Because in my opinion, the media has done nothing but get worse since I stopped watching. It's hard for me to believe that folks are actually paying for this. And out from your TV set. They do call it programming, after all. This is CNN, the most trusted name in news. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. If you'd like to help me continue working on these videos and make improvements and be able to do deeper analysis, please make sure that you support my work by liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. A donation would be the ultimate and you will receive a unique gift for your donations of my work. All my links are below. 
Click on some of them, will ya? Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my posts. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.